Assalamu alaikum guys, I am Khizr. In today's lecture, we are going to look at a very powerful Microsoft tool named Microsoft Power BI. BI means business intelligence, which is basically used for data insights and data manipulation. I will guide you through the whole process, how to download the software and how to use it. Now, first go to Google and write Microsoft. Power BI desktop just click on it and click on this link download Microsoft Power BI from official Microsoft site click on it and here you will go to the Microsoft Power BI site where you can download your software as we load it will show you the option in which language you want to download the software first of all we you can see here we have multiple languages like we want to download it English is just select English and click on download as you click on download it will show you the two setup if you are using 34 bit system you can click on this and click on next and if you are using 32 bit system you can click on this and then next in this way you can download your software when you download your software then when you open it it will look like this it is a basic interface when you open power bi means power business intelligence and first of all you have to get the data for this you want to manipulate to get the data click on get data it will show you the multiple options that what type of file you want to import it can be excel file it can be xml it can be sharepoint pdf i want to import my data from access file i click on excel and click on connect as i click on connect it will directly lead me to the my device and i just click on the random data company financial and click on open as i click on open it is connecting this file to my application and wait until application open now it's loading and it's opening it for me and it's saying here we have two type of file first name financial and second is t-cell i am clicking on t-cell and then clicking on t-cell and here we have three options load transform and cancel i want to transform my data because i want to manipulate it or make some change in it i click on transform data and then click on transform data it just open another video window for me to manipulate it and here we go you can see we have a multiple rows and multiple columns in our data and you can see the, here is a long list of columns as well now what to do here is the basic interface and we have imported our data in power bi now here we are going to do our very first task let's say here are the multiple countries and i only want to get data from pakistan and just i click on pakistan and click ok as you see it filtered all the data and only the rows which contain the name pakistan shows here similarly you can change any type like here are the multiple products you can change these products as well and you can say here is a cost priority revenue cost profit date month number and month name and i want to change this name i just want to write month what to do i just double click there and month and okay and you can see as in click on and okay or press enter you see the here 
one option extended means filter row and renamed column our last section performed by the renamed column and the last section was the filter row as as you know we filtered our row in a very first column there was a multiple country then we select only pakistan in this way you can change your data settings and other things after that i want to import another file like click on new source and more it will show me the same window as we see earlier like you can see here we have multiple files that we can import like excel csv xml json we can upload even a folder pdfs sql and you can see here is a long list and this time i want to import my data from the web i just search web and click on web and connect as i press on connect it asked me to press the url i just press the url of one of the wikipedia site and is connecting my url as it connect this url it will show you the multiple tables if this url contain multiple tables means the link i pasted there if it contain multiple tables it will definitely show you there you can see it's just loading because it's connecting to the internet that's why it's taking much long and you can see here we have multiple tables in our link that we have provided to it and i want to insert this and click you can see here we have again multiple rows and multiple columns and and i click on okay and is again connected to my application and here we have the you can see here we have a rank of the countries here we as countries depend densities populations population of the world date and source and i do not want to add all the data in my file i just want to remove this just right click there and click on remove and i don't want to percentage in word remove i don't want dates and i don't want official from you and or any other site yes it's all set and here we go you know in our files we have only few countries like and i only want these countries according to population like very first is pakistan i just click on pakistan second one i was we have turkey turkey indonesia UAE. You can say United Arab Emirates, and finally Iran. And I click on OK. You can see I only select five country and show me the data of the five countries, and all the names are fine, but the name Pakistan, name Pakistan, it just I right click there and click on the replace values i want only pakistan i just see and you can see the name has been changed now what to do i want to merge both of these columns i just merge queries and then click on merge queries so first click on details and now merge queries select the row that you want to merge and here select the file to which you want to merge again here select the row you want to merge okay, here is the countries and here is also the country that you want to merge these as I click on there it's asking me for the privacy please I just ignore it and save and press ok
as you click on OK, you can see it's showing there are the, there are the multiple tables in this line. And what I want to import, I want to only import the populations. Okay. Oh, it's all right. Now I have added it another column in my T cell file. And what to do now? Close and apply. It will take a few moments to do this. It is applying Q changes to the tables. And now you can see it's successfully evaluated our data. Now what you do we have to come on to the data. Here you can see all of our data that we edited, imported or manipulated. It will show you all the data here you can see all the fields in our data. and here we have all of our data any relationship if i click on the relationship you can see the relation between the boss table if you remember we created a relation like between the countries like in our t cells when we merge the queries i click on the countries and in our other table i also click on the countries and if i hover there you can see the both of them like it now go to our chart menu and here is a very interesting part of this tool is come like you can see i want to check my profit i just click on profit and it show me the table and I want to check it by date uh, you can see here is a table of my profit over date by it I want to see from the proper date now you can see here our sales in September 2018, then November 2018, then January 2018 to November 2019. In this way, you can see the charts of your data and your of your results. And if I click on map, Here you can see the map of all of our countries. I just go to the step back and click on the plain screen. Now I click on map. Whose map? I want to check the map of the country. I just click on the country and drag it here. You can see it is showing the countries like Iran, Pakistan, Turkey that were in our table I just making little bit short you can in this way you can also insert a table means I want to check the cost per day and also you want to check to the profit and as well as countries now here you can see the cost cost per t profit countries in this way you can when played your data i if you want to make into the or change into the chart you can see the different views of your data it's all about microsoft power bi in this lecture we see 
how we can download Microsoft Power BI and how we can manipulate and transform our data and finally we see that how we can see the interactive view of our data by showing the charts thanks for watching if you like this video then please subscribe to this channel and hit on bell icon if you have any question must share it in the comment box thank you and thanks for watching